Can't believe this sold for so much money. Welcome back to The Warehouse. It is Monday today and every week we like to show you what has been selling for us right now on eBay. Highlight this week is a category that's not usually a heavy hitter for us, but wait right till the end because these two book sales grossed us over $600. So let's get into it. All right, 51 orders going out the door this weekend. Friday and Saturday were very good and then Sunday dipped right off. So <laughs> we're very lucky there's been some very high ASP this weekend. First up, is an experiment that Jazzy tried on this majestic <laughs> filiches. Is that even how you say it? I don't know how you say it. Um, I found it safe as it looked like good quality, but it actually took a really long time to sell. So we bought it for five and sold it for 35. So we are making some decent profit on it, but probably not one that we pick up again. How's this sale? Adelaide Crow's neon red ring wall clock sold for $80. So it's probably going to cost us, I don't know, $20-ish in post. Straight to the man cave. And while we're up in this section, we sold this Kath and Kim box set <laughs> for $34.95. Favourite characters of the shop ladies, they're like, do you need a hand or you just happy browsing? Hey, can I help you? You're just happy browsing. Tolkien set that we picked up not that long ago. This one sold for $45 plus $12 postage. We paid about $12 initially on that as well. Um, so not huge profit, but in and out the door really quickly and probably about 15 bucks in our bank. I nearly left it behind because this is quite faded, but Daniel was like, nah, get it. And he was right. Here's an interesting one. This micrometer for measuring micro things. I shall call him mini me. For measuring micro things. Sold for $70. So very happy with that. There's some very good brands in these micrometers. A lot of the ones that are made in Japan are worth looking up. So keep <laughs> your eye out for some micrometers when you're out in the op shop. Love a micrometer. Here's a cool little sale. This Simpsons hit and run for PS2 sold and it doesn't even have the original cover on it. So I picked this up from an op shop like last week. I listed a little bit below comps just because it didn't have the cover and it sold yeah. really quickly for 25 bucks. So there are some games that are worth picking up even if they're not in their original cases. Hit and run, perfect example. Dead Sea Scrolls DVD set, nice bread and butter, $24. We paid $2 for that initially and it was in R2S2. So I just want to show you guys how this is working for us. So we've got our cost of goods up there, which was $2 for this item. And then we have the location of the item, which was R2S2. So we knew that it was in this rack and we could find it pretty quickly. Two Iron Williams shirts going out to the same buyer for $60 each. This heavy blue. And then the pink and blue check one sold for $60 as well. Gonna look Schmidt. Two Love Chews, which is essentially the same as like a Tamagotchi. It's like third party brand, I guess. We sold both of those for $30 each, including shipping. So $60 on that set. Threw my Tamagotchi in the pool. <laughs> Who doesn't like a bit of Jumanji? We sold this Jumanji wooden board for $49.95 plus $12.80 postage. Me, I don't like a bit of Jumanji. That's terrifying. You guys might remember this one from our four hour challenge video. Yeah. We ended up selling this for $89.95 plus $15 postage and we got that for free on our points from Salvo. So essentially we turned $0 into $89.95 plus post. I love our job. We've had this one way too long. The Star Wars lithograph collection of 60 prints. It is brand new sealed. Um, we picked that up at a market quite a long time ago and we've just been dropping the price because we had it up <laughs> for like about 150 originally. We did pay 20 originally and it did sell for 70, so we have made a profit, but sell through on this was way too slow. So that's something you need to consider when you're buying and reselling is how long it's actually gonna take for the item to sell. Another bread and butter DVD out the door, Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries Series 3, sold for $32.50. We don't do murdering. Here's a brand you need to be very careful with, Caladad. We did sell this one here for $44.95, but there isn't a lot in this. It's like a third party brand, matches up with HP and a couple other brands. So just do your research when, if you do see these, just comp them by that top number there. There are a few that we've sold for good money, but there's a lot that are worth nothing. So I'm not saying go out and buy every Caladad. <laughs> be very, very careful. Nice little cap sale. This vintage Darwin home of the B-52 bomber. Cap sold for $27. Dig, 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 dig. Got a lot of hats at the moment. Pick up a few more on the weekend as well. Love a hat. Little Tonka diecast set that I picked up from Savers like last week, I think. I think I paid like $9.95. We did split them out because it was four different sets and that sold for 45. Here's a nice quick DVD sale. Thank God you're here. Complete series one, two, and three. Sold for $59.95. Vintage 1992 Barcelona Olympics USA basketball dream team t-shirt in a large. Sold for 80 bucks. 80 bucks. 
<laughs> Another bread and butter DVD out the door. This fast forward in rewind, Funniest Moments Volume 2, sold for $34.95. Hey, that's not too bad. CD bundle out the door for $40. We've been loading up like hypes of CDs. <laughs> uh, and he listed this like late last week, so very quick yeah. sale on that one. 40 bucks out the door. Sold over the weekend, listed Friday. Brand that's been a bit up and down for us, Timberland. These are like a chucker boot um, leather, and these sold for 90 bucks. So Gore-Tex, which definitely helps it. Um, we've struggled with some of the like normal types of yeah. Timberlands lately, so just be very careful. Do your comps when you're out in the thrift store, but there are some really good Timberlands out there, so keep your eye out. The Gore-Tex came through. Here's an interesting controller to be look at, on the lookout for. This Xbox Halo Edition green controller, sold for $45 very quickly uh daniel did a quick clean up on it and changed out the uh paddles because they were struggling but Legends. yeah really quickly 45 bucks out the door here's an interesting little lot this vintage fisher price loving family dolls and accessories sold for 51 dollars <laughs> toilet in there uh this was just from daniel's um storage unit that he pulled out at the yeah. bottom of a lot so very happy to get rid of that one for 51. We've got a bulk lot of simpsons dvds going out the door for 50 bucks we did have these listed higher but we just took an offer just to get rid of them, get some space back in the shelf. 50 bucks on the set's not too bad. Here's an interesting one, Mega Blocks. This is World of Warcraft and Halo. It's like a mixed set. That ended up selling for $99.95. Now, Mega Blocks is a tough one. There's only certain sets out there that are worth money. I did pick up a set at Savers on like last week sometime yeah. <laughs> uh, that was like Pirates of the Caribbean, which should be, should be worth some money as well. But do your research on Mega Blocks. It doesn't go as well as Lego. There are a few sets worth money. I just tipped it out in a pile and took a picture. Got a little Game Boy game, Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge, sold for $28. And an RM Williams Isa skirt out the door, right down in an RM3. We sold this for $55, and we'll have another nice little relist on this as well. Right on top. Category I'm trying to learn is Skylanders. Shout out to Disgruntled Octopus for giving me the knowledge on this. Uh, this one here sold for 40 and the same buyer also bought this Sensei Master Pit Boss for 35 Who remembers All Saints from back in the day? We picked up this set of All Saints DVDs for 5 bucks. This set sold for $37.95. However, if you can get a full set of these, they go for some very good money. So if you do see them out for a buck or two, definitely worth picking up. And another Iron Williams shirt going outdoor. This size 12 Nicole shirt sold for $60. Wait, 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 wait. I can do it, I can do it. This one. Here's another Iron Williams one. This one sold for 45 used, and that's because it is vintage. So when you're looking at Iron Williams, if you look for that logo there, there's a couple other versions of the green logo out there. That sort of indicates vintage in Iron Williams, especially on the shirts, and they do sell for more money than the newer versions of them. So yeah. keep an eye out for them. <laughs> out for a sale, this Faith No More Vintage 1997 tee sold for 150 bucks. I picked a bunch of vintage shirts off of this lady not that long ago, 30 bucks each, so we're making some really good money on that one. Lovely. Little 35 mil Pentax zoom camera sold for $110. So there's some very good 35s out there. Just do your research and you should make some decent money. It's got its manual with it. Oh, a nice little DVD going out the door, The History of Rock and Roll. It's a five DVD set, sold for $49.95. Got a little corpse bride figurine it is Mayhew. Mayhew. Unopened from 2006, sold for $74.95. We love him. Another CD set that sold very quickly, $49.95 on this Megadeth bundle. Nice little Denver Broncos on the Pro Player tag, sold for $40 out the door nice and quickly. Here's something very different. I didn't actually think this was going to sell very well. Uh, it just came in a bulk lot that we got, but I decided to list it. This 10 pin bowling Australia team polo sold for 40 bucks. Okay. All right, we've got two of the same G-Star jeans going out the door for $69.95 each, so $139.90 total in the same tub, which is very nice, and very happy to get rid of two pairs of G-Stars in one sale. Oh, love a bundle. Okay, we don't do a lot in VHSs, but we sold this little cult classic bundle for $39.95. It's got Congo, Pulp Fiction, Men in Black, Independence Day. So happy to get those out the door. VHS is a category that's very tough to sell in, but there is some very good ones if you find horror. Let's get into the money makers of this pick. Books is not usually our highest hitting category, 
but these were worth the shelf space. First up, just a nice copy of The Hobbit from 1978. It's beautiful, it sold for $70. And now the two items that grossed us over $650. Jane Austen Folio Society set sold for $250 plus international post. This blew us away. Staghorn Corals of the World sold for $399 plus post to Switzerland. Hope it was helpful. And we will see you next time on Twilight Thrifters. Love yous.